Let's take a look at the best way to create, assign, and grade quizzes using Google Forms and Google Classroom. We'll begin by creating our quiz in Google Forms. Let's head over to forms.google.com. Click on Blank Quiz to create your quiz. Let's give our quiz a name. And also be sure to name this file. And now we can begin adding our questions. I like to start by having students share their first names as a required short answer question, as well as their last names and their class periods. Once that's done, we can begin adding our quiz questions. For this example, I'm just going to add one simple multiple choice question. I'm going to be sure to make each question required, and then I can configure the answer key for this question. Here, I'm just simply going to select the correct answer and add a point value. If you'd like, though it's not necessary, you can also add answer feedback. These are short, customizable messages that students will see when they get an answer wrong or right. You can even include links and videos to help support them if they need to review certain content. Once your quiz is created, let's just double check our settings by clicking on the cog in the top right hand corner. Here, in the General tab, I'm going to click to collect email addresses and limit to one response per user. Then, in the Quizzes tab, I'm going to select Release Grades Later After Manual Review. That way I can see them before the students will. And now that my quiz is all set, all I have to do is head over to Google Classroom where I can post it as an assignment. In my classroom, I'll click on the Classwork tab on the top and select Create an Assignment. Be sure not to use the built-in quiz assignment as that tends to cause some trouble. In the assignment, I'm going to give it a title and some instructions, and then when I'm ready, I will click on Add and Google Drive to select my form. As I import my quiz from Google Drive to this assignment, I'll be given some options. Let's make sure that Grade Importing is turned on and that Locked Mode is turned off. Then I can add a due date as well as a topic and any other details I'd like on the right-hand side before assigning this to my students. Now let's take a look at what the experience is like for a student. Students will click on the assignment within their Google Classrooms and then click on the form to start the quiz. Once submitted, students can click on Open Assignment to be brought back to the Google Classroom assignment. This is where they will eventually find their scores. Now that we have a quiz completed and turned in, let's head back to the Teacher Google Classroom to see what it looks like from there. Here's the assignment window on the Student Work tab. I can click on the form and then go into the Edit view to see responses here by clicking on the Responses tab. The Summary option gives you a good overview of student performance on the quiz but you can also click onto the Questions tab to see responses question by question. These can be scrolled through by clicking on the arrows. Additionally, you can click on the Individual tab to see a complete copy of each student's quiz. Back in Classroom, I can click on Import Grades to bring these grades into my Google Classroom gradebook. When I'm ready for students to be able to see their grades, I can select all of the students who have turned in the assignment by clicking on this checkbox. And then I click on the Return button. This will release the scores to students. And now let's head back into our students' Google Classroom so we can see what it looks like for them at this point. We'll go into the Classwork tab and we'll select this Quiz Assignment and click on View Assignment. Here, in the top right-hand corner, I can see that the assignment was graded. To see what I got right or wrong, I can click on that link to my quiz. 
Here I can see my total score and I can scroll down and see any feedback provided by the teacher. Let's head back over to the teacher's Google Classroom and I want you to notice that this grade has automatically been added to the Google Classroom gradebook. Once you import it from the assignment, it will appear within the grades.